all right welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be watching episode eight eight of house of the dragon oh wow we're already on episode eight two more weeks damn now in the last episode we had a little bit of, fuck, we had a little bit of drama in the last episode amen 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 this little shit <sighs> all right he stole caraxes which was lady lena's dragon right and her kids called him out on it and they were like hey that's not your dragon that's my mother's dragon or whatever and then he just gave him some smart ass comment like like well the dragon has a new rider now or whatever so then they started scrapping they slashed his eye you know it was a huge mess right and and then Rhaenyra and Allison, they started getting into it because of it, because Allison's kids accused uh, Rhaenyra's kids of being bastards, you know, everyone knows it and stuff. And that kind of just started a little, that kind of just stirred the pot a little bit, you know? And she kind of like, she went at her with this Ares knife, but then, you know, I got broken up and everything, but she still slashed Rhaenyra pretty good in the arm. You know, so blood was drawn because of it. Aemon lost an eye. And you know what I think the worst part is? Eamon doesn't even give a shit he lost his eye, dude. He was just like, it was worth it. I got the dragon on my side now. Like, that's like, dude, come on. Like, him losing an eye is, yeah, per is the consequence of what of his action. So, you know, lesson was not learned right there. It's just going to encourage him to keep doing things like this because, you know, if it's worth it in his eyes, then it's like, oh, shit. All right, he's going to get pretty messed up. And then Rhaenyra and Daemon decided to marry each other to strengthen Rhaenyra's claim to the throne, you know, because they know Alicent's coming for that throne, bro. They know she's coming. So they decided to get married to strengthen their claim. And they knew they couldn't do it unless, unless Sir Leonor died, right? So they had him fake his death. They burned his body, and now everyone thinks he's dead, right? And I'm happy Sir Leonor is not dead because I really like him. He's a good character, so... But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. So let's get started. The sea snake is strong. No doubt. And yet I have seen blood fever overcome men half his age. I love my brother, but we must be honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. We may greet his ship to find him gone. And who will yeah. take the driftwood throne? Yeah, he's about to die. Basically. It's only in the absence of her husband. Oh, yeah, she can't be king here. The closest kin he has left. Mm. Brother, none can take your words for treason. Mm-hmm. Almost like this could have been planned. I don't know, man. I wouldn't be fucking... I wouldn't be surprised. Man whose ambition has brought down on us calamity after calamity. My brother gets yeah. by all rights. And while I should like your support, I do not need it mm. the crown has good reason to take my side my cousin the king would have your tongue for this mm -hmm. who sits the iron throne these days good sister it's a queen wait so is Renera the queen now i guess i guess if it's been six years the series could be dead now unless he means like Unless he means like not yet, but she pretty much already is. It's probably Damon, dude. Some shit he would do. Yep, dragon egg. Oh, it is Damon. All right, so Damon just found another egg. Three eggs. Of the end. No, she's pregnant with Damon's good. Unless you're planning to depose your own mother, you have plenty of time to study. Yeah. <laughs> he means to call into question Luke's legitimacy. Mm-hmm. And by extension, Jace, and by extension, my own claim to the throne. Famous. Yep. Disagreement. She believes we had her son killed so that we might marry. Yes. No, so they did accuse her of that. Lord Corlys wished for his grandson, Lucerus, to succeed him as Lord of the Tides. The boy mm. has been raised most of his life away from Driftmark. He is Lenor's son. What grounds could there be what for... Indeed. But he's, he's not true blood. It's about the prince. There's been a delicate situation in his past. No. Damn, damn, there's hella spider webs on this. Viserys hasn't even touched this in a minute. Father? Ah, oh, he doesn't sound good. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
he's dying this episode. I'm calling it. Who goes there? Oh, it's me, my king, Rhaenyra. Watch him not even remember her. I'm here with Damon. Yeah, it's hard for Damon to watch too. It's like, who the fuck is that? Help me up. Oh. It has been so long. Oh. They haven't been there for him. You want to affirm your position for Lucerus? To be Corlys Valarian's successor? Mm. This is Egon. Egon. This is Viserys. Oh, okay. Now that is a name. Fit for a king. Yeah, his name. And I guess Damon said pass it down to Viserys. Two of Viserys, but he's talking about that child. <sighs> What? Why? What? Why? I asked him to stop. Your guys. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> you must believe me. <laughs> Allison's not gonna have her. Is Allison gonna have her killed? No way. But what I worry about is what others might believe. Mm. You're alone with the prince, were you not? Yes. And no one else thought happened between the two of you. Well, then we gotta take the prince's word. And though I believe you were not to blame, others might not be so trusting. They might think you were trying to besmirch the prince, or worse, that you're the sort of girl that might have enticed him in the first place. Mm hmm I won't really think another word to anyone. You're right. Dude, she's so scared. Feel troubles. Okay. Some... Oh, he's like, get the fuck out of here now. Get up. Egg on! Yeah, she's gonna bitch him out now. Get up! Jesus Christ. Oh, this fool's grown. The girl, Egon, the one you said fleeing from your company. Oh, it was just harmless <laughs> fun. She didn't need to go get upset about it. Think of the shame on your wife. Yeah. How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Mm -hmm. Why, what is it today? <laughs> oh, yeah, slap him. Dude, he's such a lazy piece of shit. He needs to get his shit together, dude. You are no son of mine. Oh. I did not ask for this. I've done everything you've asked me to. And I try so... I try so hard, but it will never be enough for you or father. Bro, you don't try at all. What do you mean? <laughs> Speak to the king. He's suggested a friend. So... And Prince Damon. Hmm. This is awkward. Long since we were granted the joy of your presence. Oh shit, there's Scar. What can either of us know of ruling a kingdom? <laughs> not rule, as you well know. My father and I amiss stewards of the king's will and wisdom. And how exactly is that wisdom expressed? Hmm? In blinks and wheezes. <laughs> the maesters, of course. It is they who keep him addled on milk of the poppy while the high towers warm his throne. Rhaenyra, if you would see him... Uh, for the king's suffering, did the maesters also prescribe the removal of Targaryen Heldry and the installation in its stead of various statues and stars? Yeah, what's up with that? Which authority will sit in judgment of my son's claim on his own inheritance? Mm -hmm. That'll be mine. Ooh. And the hands. But be assured, the father. All right. Is Sir, is Sir Christian Cole still, still teaching here? Or what? Where is he at? What's he up to? No one would question me being heir to Driftmark. If, if I look more like Sir Lane or Valarian. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they think. So uh, there he is. Oh, he's still just fucking everyone up. Who's he fighting? Oh, is that fucking Eamon with the eye patch? Oh yeah, this is awkward for them. <laughs> Oh, I guess. Damn, Eamon beat him. You went in 20s in no time. 
I don't give a shit about tawnies. <laughs> Nephews? Oh, he's a psychopath, you can tell. Have you come to train? No, bro, no. He doesn't care about the tawnies, he just wants to kill. Allison's kids look way older than uh, Rhaenyra's kids. Like, I'm pretty sure... Like, I don't think there's that much of an age gap between them. I don't know, maybe they just hit puberty faster, so they just grow way faster. I mean, they are they have the Targaryen. They have a series of DNA, so, like, tall and lengthy, you know? But a war looms and may arrive on our shores. When it does, will you want a child at the command of the greatest fleet in Western? No. Whether you'd speak for or against the suit brought by Sir Raymond. But then I realized... You intend to advocate for yourself. Mm hmm Does she really? This is no fair proceeding. It is a trap. Set by the Queen in the hand, I'd wager, to proclaim my son illegitimate. Mm -hmm. Yet you did worse than that with Lenor. Uh. I loved your son. No, you didn't. You may not believe it to be true. But... He loved the way he could do for you. <laughs> you loved his name. I did not order his death. Nor was I complicit in it, I swear this to you. Well, technically he didn't really die, so I guess. I'll make you an offer. Back Luke's claim and let us betroth Lena's children to mine. Ooh. Bela will be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. And her sons will be heirs to the throne. Okay. Reyna will rule and drift. A generous offer. Nah. That's but one. Yeah. What does it matter? But tomorrow the high towers land their first blow. Hmm. They force you to your knees. And I must stand alone. That's tough. The song of ice and fire, do you believe it to be true? <sighs> Our duty to hold the realm united against a common foe. Mm -hmm. By naming me heir, you divided the realm. Yep. I thought I wanted it. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me. Mm. Oh no, he can't even speak. Like, yeah, how can he defend you if he can't even talk? You know, like, he's so sick. I want to have supper after. It is the morning, Your Grace. Uh, tonight, all of my family Aww. are gathered at the Red Keep. One last supper with his family. Uh, 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 oh my god, he looks so skinny. Damn. Yep. She cuts right to the throne. Show what pretty much killed him. I have spent my entire life on Driftmark defending my brother's seat. I am Lord Corlys's closest kin, his own blood. Mm -hmm. The true, unimpeachable blood of House Valarian runs through my veins. As it does mm. in my sons, the offspring of Lenor Valarian. Oh my god. <laughs> About your house's blood, Sir Vaymond, you would not be so bold as to supplant its rightful heir. Now you only speak for yourself and for your own ambition. Renera, that is so hypocritical. But she has to go along with it, you know, like, yeah, no. My kids are Sir Lanor's kids. What do you know of Valarian blood, princess? Yeah, I see. Everybody know my veins and show it to you. And you still wouldn't recognize it. Yeah. This is about the future and survival of my house, not yours. Mm hmm This is a matter of blood, not ambition. Yep. I place the continuation of the survival of my house and my line above all. I humbly put myself before you as my brother's successor. Mm -hmm. The Lord. Okay, Amin keeps looking at Rhaenyra's kids, it looks like. I feel like he wants to fight them because he knows he'll beat their ass now because he actually looks kind of good at fighting. Like, he beats Sir Kristen Cole, so he's pr he's pretty good now. So he just, he's just waiting for an opportunity. Like, let's fight again. Let's see how it goes this time. If I am to grace this fast with some answer, I will start by reminding the court that nearly 20 years ago... Mm. Oh, he made it! King of the Andals! 
I'm the Roina. I feel like you could have at least gave him a wheelchair. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Hell yeah. His big dramatic entrance. If he even makes it to the throne. It was rigged in, uh, it was rigged against Ven uh, Rhaenyra, but now Viserys really changes everything. Because the high towers, the hand, Otto was never going to give it to her, no matter what, so. I will sit the throne today. Ah. Uh... Uh, dude, he's trying so hard right now. Oh, yeah, Damon's the one to help him now. Aw. See, Damon does care about him, truly. Yeah, and they put that mask over his face, half his face, because, you know, it's not looking so hot. I not understand. My petitions are being heard over a settled succession. Mm. It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark pass through Selenor to his true-born son. Yep. His mind never changed. Oh, she's back in Rhaenyra. Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons Jace and Luke to Lord Corlys's granddaughters, okay. Baylor and Rhaena. Yeah, because she took the deal. To which I heartily agree. Yep. Now, Allison, Otto, they're pissed. Corlys' brother's pissed. Heiress of House Valarian is heir to Driftmark. The Driftwood. All right. <laughs> Damn. You break law. Yeah, he's heated. Otto is heir. Yet you dare tell me. Oh no. Who deserves to inherit the name Valari? <laughs> no, he's so pissed. Oh. That is no true Valarian. Yeah. A nephew of mine. Go to your chambers. You, you have said enough. Viserys is my true born grandson. Oh, he is, but. <sighs> you may run your house as you see fit. But, no. but you will not decide the future of mine. No, nope. I like how passionate he is over his house, though. I respect it. How, how hard he's fighting for it. It's mad respect for that. See it ended on the account of this. Say it. Bastard. Don't say it. If you say it, you'll probably be killed. Our children. Oh, yeah. A bastard! Oh, shit, he said it. Oh, he just doubled down on it. Oh, no. To make these accusations. Oh. oh. He's dead. He's gonna die. Oh, no. We'll have your tongue for that. Uh, <gasps> oh, my God. That was so unexpected. Oh. He can keep his tongue. Holy shit. Him. No need. Oh. He's like, no need. Oh, Eamon respects that. Eamon like that. This fool's literally j fucking psychopath. Well, shit. <laughs> Are they assembling his head back together? Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh, is that is that gonna change her mind on what she just said for Rainier? Cause Damon just did that. Maybe not. I mean, I don't really think she cared about him. So. I assure you, he cares little whether my eyes are open or. Ah, so much death. She's experienced so much death around her. She has a plan, I know it. She's gonna she has a fucking plan. May the mother smile down on this gathering with love. May the Smith mend the bonds that have been broken for far too long. Yeah, they're nervous of Haman. Or near his kids. 
This is an occasion for celebration, it seems. My grandsons, Jason and Luke, will marry their cousins, Bela and Reyna. Ugh. And they're betrothed. Here, here. Well done, Jason. You'll finally get to lie with a woman. No respect. Future. You'll be great. <laughs> you do know how the act is done. Bro, oh, shut up. Cousin? You can play the gesture if you wish, but hold your tongue before my betrothed. Bro, I feel like that actor who's playing Aegon doesn't look like the last actor in Huff. To where it's like, I see him, I'm like, I think Aegon. The guy who plays Aemon looks more like the last actor of Aegon, if anything. The faces most dear to me in all the world. Mm -hmm. You've grown so distant from each other. Mm. And the years passed. Like even if he doesn't die today, this will probably this will this will be the last time that he has them all together in one room, having dinner. So. Oh, he doesn't have an eye. That's why he had the wrap over. The crown cannot stand strong if the house of the dragon remains divided. But set aside your grievances. Mm -hmm. Let's just. If not for the sake of the crown, and for the sake of this old man. Yeah, it's all he wants. It's all he wants. I wish to raise my cup to Her Grace the Queen. I love my father, but I must admit that no one has stood more loyally by his side than his good wife. Mm. We are both mothers, and we love our children. Mm -hmm. Both just want the best for our children. We have more in common than we sometimes yep. know. <clears throat> Like how uh, Aegon, what are you doing? I regret the disappointment you assumed to suffer. Bro, shut But if you ever wish to know what it is to be well satisfied, all you have to do is ask. Shut up, dude. Chase. Chase, don't lose your cool, dude. Don't lose your cool. I love how, and I love how Aemon's just watching. He hasn't said a word since he fought with Sir Christian Cole. He's just been observing everything. But now he just stood up. Wait, what he stand up because he knows he can fight and like it's like you do anything I'll beat your ass. It's like if you do anything I'll kill you. To Prince Aegon and Prince Aemond, we have not Yeah, he played that off. I have fond memories of our shared youth. And as men, I hope we may yet be friends and allies. <laughs> I would like to toast Vela and Reyna. They'll be married soon. It isn't so bad. Mostly he just ignores you. <laughs> Except sometimes when he's drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, exposes ass. Embarrasses him. Okay. Excuse me. Oh shit, you wanna dance? You wanna dance? Hell yeah, Jace, get it. Bro, Eamon just looks like and has the body language of someone who you could tell was just physically inferior as a kid, then just had a massive glow up, and now he's like physically equivalent to most men. And you could tell he's insecure as a kid, so he learned how to fight. And now that he knows how to actually fight, and he's actually decent at it, he's actually pretty good at it, he just wants conflict every chance he can get because he has to prove himself because he's deep down. It's rooted from that deep down insecurity he had from a kid when he was embarrassed when he lost his eye. And who looks confident, but deep down is just extremely insecure with false confidence. Like, you know he was just waiting for that moment to stand up right there. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Jesus. Bro, okay. Why did why is why does I think I think that's a <gasps> Final tribute. Bro, fuck off. Don't do that shit, dude. You're annoying. Let us drain our cups to these three strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Why? Yeah. It was only a compliment. No, it's not, bro. Do you not think yourself strong? <gasps> no shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, but Jesus, Eamon was ready for that, but J I mean Aegon was ready for that, but Eamon is just antagonizing him to get him to do that. Such thing for these people. I was merely expressing how proud I am of my family, mother. Jeez. Mm. Oh, it seems my nephew yes. don't. Super condescending. Wait. Damon. Go to your quarters. All of you go now. Damon, talk to Eamon, please. Beat his ass. They're literally the same person, dude. <laughs> I want to see Damon just beat his ass so bad. It's best, I think, if we go back to Dragonstone. You've only just arrived. That's why we're leaving. Oh no, who's this? What's about to happen? Wait, yeah, this is Damon's first wife. In the very beginning of the show. It's probably Damon in the cloak. It just looks like something Damon would wear. It's been quite a night at the castle, it seems. Oh, it's not Damon. Yes, lady. <sighs> His dream. The song of ice. Mm. And fun. It is true. What he saw in the north. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. The prince that was promised. Oh, the prince that was promised. I don't understand the sounds. The prince. Prince Edmund. To unite the realm against the cold. Mm hmm. Against the White Walkers. It is you. Oh. You are that one. What? What do you mean? Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's crying. Uh. Alright, well, I'm guessing he died right there. I'm guessing that was his death. That was really sad. Damn. R.I.P. Viserys. R.I.P. Alright, so that was episode 8. Now, what an interesting episode. What an interesting episode. So Corlys has been injured pretty badly, and we don't know if he's gonna live or not, right? So the successor to Driftmark is in question now. Now it now who gets it? Okay, now who gets it? Do we give it to Corlys's brother, who is in line for the throne? Who is, you know, but technically Renair's kids are in line for the throne. But at the same time, her kids aren't aren't true blood because you know we know they're not Lenor's kids. They're not truly Lenor's kids. So you know it was just a little battle to see who would get it. Right, each team making moves to see who's gonna get it. Blah blah. And Rhaenyra got it. Rhaenyra had to make a little proposition to to Corlys's wife to kind of secure her throne to secure her claim at first when she first offered it to her it sounded like she rejected it but then when Viserys asked her like hey it's really up to her dog who gets it but then right there she accepted Renera's deal right and then that obviously pissed off Corlys's brother and he was like no this is bullshit dare I say it he said it they're bastards you know no he made sure to scream it and made sure everybody knew you know everyone already did knew but he wanted to make sure everybody heard him and I got him killed. You know, I thought, okay, Viserys is just gonna cut his tongue off, which is still horrible. But then, nope, Damon just sliced right through him, through his head. You know, I, I respected his passion for it, for because technically it should have gone to him. I feel like it should have. But hey, it is what it is. And another six years went by, so all the kids are a little bit more grown. I really do not like Aegon or Aemond. I really don't like them. I don't like them at all. They're so annoying. So I guess by like default, I'm rooting for 
uh, Rhaenyra. You know, I like technically they shouldn't get Driftmark, but hey, it's all a hey, 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 hey. Rhaenyra. She's playing everyone, so yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm assuming Viserys died right there too at the end of the episode. So now she's the heir, so she's on the throne now. So yeah. So, uh, okay, so I was wondering like what's gonna happen to Alicent once Rhaenyra does become queen. She's just gonna boot her ass out of here. Like you're not the queen anymore. Get out of here. You know, take your kids and get out of here, you know? She's, I feel like she's probably going to try and find the new Hand of the King, too. Definitely will find a new Hand of the King and everything. Just replace everyone, get her own people in there, clean house, you know? Get her own people in there she can trust. So, I mean, at the end right there, Rhaenyra did make a toast to Alicent, and then Alicent made a toast back to Rhaenyra. So, I don't think that means they're cool at all. I just think it means, hey, I respect you. You know, just a mutual respect for them. They don't have to like each other, but think they respect each other so they admire each other's ambition and the end right there was pretty interesting too because when he was talking to Alicent on the bed what he was saying to her I don't think he realized he was talking to her I think he thought he was talking to like someone else like Rhaenyra she so started talking about Aegon and how she's gonna unite the realms like he told her back so okay that's interesting Let's see what she does with that okay but anyways, that was House of the Dragon, episode 8. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.